everyone. It has been quite a while since I've made a video. And to be quite honest, it is because my baby girl right here, Sage, developed a problem. And I really didn't want to film or record anything about it. Um, just because I didn't really know the issue fully and I didn't want to give anyone misinformation that could hurt other animals. So I just kind of went MIA for a while and I apologize about that. But to get straight into the video, because you guys know, I like to get straight to the point. I am going to talk about gout and that is what me and my veterinarian decided that Sage had developed. And gout is when the uric acid in a bearded dragon collects into certain areas of the body, usually around joints or in really severe cases, close to their heart and that can actually kill them. And typically it happens to bearded dragons who are older, maybe 10 years or less or more, just depending on each individual case. And mine happens to be really rare because Sage is not even a year old, which is pretty scary. But thankfully I had met some awesome people and they guided me in the right direction. And I don't want to say she's cured because I'm not quite sure if there is a cure to gout, but um, she's definitely back on track and she is growing healthily. She's also not showing any signs of inflammation anymore, which is so amazing for me. And I just want to express to you guys how I was able to do this because if you're like me and you have a young bearded dragon, you might have the chance to fix this problem. So basically this happened in August and I had gotten back from vacation and when I was feeding her, I noticed that she was kind of like dragging her back leg. So I took her out, did an inspection and she was not moving her joint right here. So immediately I freak out, I make a vet appointment. That one wasn't very successful. The vet just kind of took an x-ray and he didn't really tell me anything. He just said, oh, she might have a broken or like a fracture. And then we made a vet appointment to a larger scale vet. It was definitely more expensive, but she gave us some insight as well. And she kind of said that it could be gout, but it's not very common in her age. So we went ahead and treated it for gout and what she did was prescribed her a anti-inflammatory and to be honest when she was taking just the anti-inflammatory nothing happened. So this is Sage now. As you can see she's using both legs. That initial video I'm going to show you is really sad. And there is still a tiny bit of um, swelling right here. Also, if you have a pet with gout, don't squeeze it and don't touch it because that's really gonna hurt them, even if they don't express it. But she's doing so much better. Her bump right here is almost gone. So what I did after that is I posted on a Bearded Dragon forum my symptoms, a video, some pictures. So basically when I did that, I got a lot of helpful responses and one of the girls had directed me to this website called bugdelight.com. It's on this packaging right here. I was a little skeptical, but at this point my super young bearded dragon was showing signs of something that is really rare in her age, so I was just freaking out and desperate. And the cool thing about Bug Delight is the owner, Tracy, she's so amazing at customer service and I don't know how she manages to do that because she probably gets a lot of emails a day but she will hand write you a note because you have to give her your bearded dragons information like their weight and how old they are and she hand writes how much you should give your bearded dragon so you don't have to look it up online or you don't have to do anything like you literally just get the package and she does everything else for you oh so, I've been giving Sage this allopurinol which, long story short, it pretty much just decreases the amount of uric acid that is produced. Um, and then the kidney support is just like a natural herbal powder supplement that they can take to help strengthen their kidneys. And pretty much gout means that the kidneys are not functioning correctly. So that's why you incorporate the kidney aspect of it in the packaging. So these two products um, have severely improved Sage's lifestyle. I give her her dosage every day 
And I'm not really gonna go into depth of that because every bearded dragon's different, so I don't want you to copy mine if your bearded dragon isn't exactly the same as Sage. So I do that every day, and it probably took two weeks before I started seeing the swelling in her leg go down. But in terms of her awareness and her alertness, she was immediately better after taking the medicine. So I was very hopeful after seeing her become interested in food again because she stopped eating for a while. And then two weeks later, her swelling started going down. And probably a week after that, I noticed her being able to use her knee joint and actually walk on her leg again. So the main lessons I've learned from this is definitely watch your protein intake. You still want to give them a lot, but not just an overabundance like I was. Make sure the feeders that you're giving them are good quality, that they're gut loaded so they actually have nutrients. If you do have a reptile with gout, definitely check out Bug Delight. Speak to Tracy, she's not gonna pressure you into buying anything. Um, and from my experience, her products do work. But if you can fix this through something online and it actually works because from my experience going to the vet, it gave me some insight, but it didn't fix the problem. I just kind of gave her an anti-inflammatory that fixed the symptoms, but it didn't actually fix the problem. So definitely take your pets to the vet because I'm not a doctor. Bug Delight should be more of a second step, like you should take them to the vet and then if that doesn't work, go to bugdelight.com and get your products there. And that's just a great product. It's not sponsored. She has not paid me to say this. I have reached out to her for future videos, but this initial product that I'm talking about, I went re and researched myself without actually asking for any help or, or any assistance of her. So I hope this helped. Definitely, if you have an animal with gout, give them water, go to the vet, and then check out Bug Delight because this has pretty much saved my animal. I'm not quite sure what would happen if I hadn't have found these products. So I hope that breaks the ice. I know I was gone for a couple of months, but I just got kind of down in the dumps. I think any of you can relate if you've had a sick pet that you feel like a terrible pet owner if they get sick. But just like cats and dogs, reptiles are gonna get sick sometimes and you just have to be prepared and follow some good sources to make sure they don't pass away if you can help it. So I hope you all have a great day. Be sure to follow Danny Avocado on Instagram because I'm always posting stories and cute pictures of my reptiles. And I will see you all in my next video. Thank you.